In Madrid, not all the great things to see and do are in the brochure. With a map, some comfy shoes, and a few directions, you can find some of the city's best attractions. You're only a bus ride away from some of the city's major attractions. And the best part, you don't even have to get off the bus. Just hop on the number 27 line in front of the Royal Botanical Gardens and ride it to the end of the line. You'll see what I mean. Head to a cerveceria in the Plaza Santa Ana area to indulge in another nice Spanish tradition, kicking back. What's a cerveceria, you ask? Well, literally translated, it means beer place. Now, if the name doesn't sell you on it, the food and atmosphere surely will. Madrid is known for its parks, and the city has several great options that are worth a look. One of its can't-miss parks is the famous El Retiro, a massive 350-acre arboretum that was open to the public in the 1800s. Now, the park is a favored destination of many madrileños, and it's easy to see why. There are lakes, sculptures, monuments, street performers, even a palace. If you're looking to put a roof over your head, you can't do much better than this. The Westin Palace Hotel, commissioned in 1912 by King Alfonso XIII, it's one of the most luxurious places to earn advantage miles. And happens to be in walking distance of well, pretty much everything you want to see. When it comes to sports, Madrienos have two great passions, bullfighting and soccer. Nowhere is that more evident than the city's premier sports venues. Like Las Ventas, Madrid's legendary bullfighting arena, and Santiago Bernabeu Stadium, home to the mighty Real Madrid Soccer Club. Since 1947, many of the world's best players have worn the team colors on this field. Flamenco is the official dance of Spain, and Madrid offers many excellent opportunities to take in a show. Corral de la Moreria has been thrilling audiences with his flamenco shows since 1957, making it the oldest flamenco show in Madrid. Slightly off the beaten path is Casa Patas, which is widely considered to be one of the best shows in town. This is where flamenco singers and dancers come after hours to watch the best of the best. I still have an adventure or two up my sleeve tonight, but for now, I'm going to catch my breath here at Plaza Mayor for some people watching. As I've learned, in Madrid, there's always something to catch your eye. At American Airlines, we know why you fly.